Hey guys, welcome back to Susan Shares, where we're all going to be therapists this week because I'm talking about meeting people where they are. Oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful thing when that happens because when you meet somebody where they are, you're meeting them in their pain, you're meeting them in their struggle, you are connecting with them, they no longer feel alone or isolated. Why? Because they're connected. Somebody has heard me and understood me. They're not trying to fix me. It's a great, it's the most beautiful thing when you are heard and understood, when you meet people where they are. It's just amazing. So I'll give you an example, because examples are always more fun for one thing, and, and they really hit it home. So pretend, just pretend we can all do that, that we've all taken a national board exam. Ooh, gives me anxiety to think about it, but anyway. Pretend we are all taking a national board exam in your field. So whatever field you're in, uh, just and if you're not in a field, pretend that you're in a field. But that we studied so hard for this national board exam. Days turned into weeks, weeks turned into months, and we diligently studied for the national board exam. We go to take the national board exam, and we missed it by one or two points. We, we did not pass it. In other words, we did not pass it. We are devastated. We are absolutely devastated. So we go through this grieving process. I mean, we're just, oh, we are so grieved. So the per first person we call may be a friend, and that friend goes, oh, you can take it again. And they said it just like I did. That is not, friend number one is not meeting you where they are. Friend number one had great intentions, but they didn't meet you where you were because you're devastated. Friend number two goes, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I know how hard you stayed. I don't, Susan, I don't even have any words, but I, I, I feel like I need to be sitting with you right now or something. I mean, I don't even know what to do, but I want to be with you. Hug your neck or something. I just want to be with you. Second response, immediately met me where I was. I felt heard. I felt understood. I did not feel alone. They sat with me in my pain and my grief. And I, if I do want to take that test again, who am I going to feel safe talking about it with and having that conversation? Number two. Again, number one had good intention, but number two met me where I was. So I'm going to have a conversation. If I do recover, want to take the test again, whatever, they're safe. They are so safe. Meeting people where they are is such a beautiful thing. I'm connected. I feel heard and understood. I'm not isolated. I'm not alone in my pain. Somebody gets it. And that is so where God meets us. He always meets us in our pain and our suffering and our whatever. And in uh, Psalm 139, it says, I already know what's on your tongue. Before you say it, I already know it. So the implication is, be vulnerable, be honest with me. Tell me anything. I'll meet you there. I will meet you there without judgment. Without judgment. Oh, it's amazing. So, a challenge, uh, again, to you, I will say, as viewers, is July 4th is coming up next next week. I won't post on Monday because uh, July 4th, July 4th is on Tuesday. You're going to be with a lot of people, probably, even family. You you might have an opportunity to meet somebody where they are. Remember this oh, and try to meet people where they are. I'm going to give you that challenge to meet somebody where they are. It's a beautiful thing when you do. I love you. Have a great 4th. Bye-bye.